Hello, today I'm going to present you one simple thing, how to install Raspberry Pi Imager. So let's switch to the browser. And here we go. We have a official website of the Raspberry Pi and raspberrypi.com. And here you have a link download for Ubuntu for x86. So let's click with the right button of the mouse and choose copy address link address. Okay, copy the URL go to the command line and then you have to type wget space and shift insert to put the address and it's downloaded. So it's Imager latest AMD. How to install it properly. Sudo apt install uh, like that. Imager latest. So the uh, you need to remember about dot and slash. Okay, there we go. And it's installing and you can see it's processing. And that's it. And this is the option, the best in my opinion. One thing that is worth to mention. I would like to warn you to those of you who are using Arch system, just because I'm using Arch 2, and there is a package for R that is not maintained anymore by the developer because he's involved in the war frame, something like that. And sorry for that. So I tried to use this package and installed it with Pac-Man and mm, it failed. I mean, I was able to install it, but during the mm, installation of the operating system on the compute module 4, it crashed. Then I use the no, and I use the flag pack. And yes, I was able to install it too, no problem. But somehow, for some reason, I didn't have time to investigate it. Every time when it tries to install the operating system on my CM4 compute module, it crashes after 50% uh, of the progress. So I decided that I will drop this and I will not waste my time to investigate it, but instead I will use an elementary OS that is a Debian distro family. And that's the option I have on the website, the official package. So I downloaded it and I decided to use it to install the operating system on my CM4 computer module. And I did it twice. Um, first, time I decided that I want to install it with the graphical uh, user interface. And the second time I decided that I want to install it with the clean command line without the GUI. So that's the way I usually work with systems and I'm not using a graphical using user interface, but instead I'm just using a pure command line and only this environment is something that uh, I use daily uh, on my at work at home, um, just because I'm a Linux system administrator mostly, and also a QA, a quality assurance specialist. So um, I'm working exactly with Linux command lines, and this is the way I recommend to use it. But sometimes you need a graphical tools like this one. Uh, RPI Imager, so you need a graphical interface to make it work. So that's the way you can do this. And yes, I was testing both command line um, version working like a charm. GUI version is also working correctly. There is no problem. I tested it and you can see uh, if you will install it, if you have a CM4 board and CM4 computing module, compute module and you can install it and you will see that it's working correctly without any issue. So because the official website recommends this way, uh, recommend this package, use this instead of trying to install it on a different distro and, you know, have problems. No, this is not the way you should do. Eventually, someone like me can investigate in a free time, but I don't have it currently to make it work on Arc, probably in the future, I will try to figure it out. I will check logs, I will check everything. Maybe even I I will run the RPI Imager with S-Trace to 
find out exactly where it crashes, what is happening there and why it behaves like that. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that's all for now. Thank you very much and have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.